And finally, South Africa's government has proposed a unique but controversial plan to boost its economy by linking it to biodiversity. South Africa is home to roughly 80% of the world's wild rhinos, so the government is proposing selling powdered rhino horns to medical tourists from Asia. But the plan, which is out for public consultation, has left people divided. Critics are branding this as a crude form of extractive conservation that focuses on monetization and exploitation of wildlife. Our next report gets you all the details. The national election in South Africa is less than two months away. A slowing economy, stagnant growth and high unemployment are among the top concerns for the country's voters. So the Ramaphosa government is adopting a new approach to create jobs and boost growth by linking biodiversity to economy. How? Well, the South African government has proposed a strategy to extract more economic value from what it has in abundance. The country's wildlife, especially the rhinos. It has proposed selling powdered rhino horn to health tourists from Asia. The demand for rhino horn remains high in Asia, particularly in China. Rhino horn is made of keratin. It's the same protein that helps form human hair, nails and skin. In traditional Chinese medicine, it is believed to be a cure for fevers, snake bites and more recently, it has been proposed as a treatment for some forms of cancer. South Africa is home to roughly 80% of the world's wild rhinos, including some black rhinos which are classified as critically endangered. This 10-year plan is named the National Biodiversity Economy Strategy. It acknowledges international support for bans on rhino horn trade and elephant tusks, but says that South Africa must explore innovative approaches to domestic trade. The new strategy also pushes for a six-fold increase in the consumption and export of game meat, including antelopes, zebra, crocodile and other exotic meat. It also includes the expansion of game ranches and hunting on communal and traditionally held lands. Another goal is to enable black communities to benefit economically. Those who had been historically excluded from white-dominated wildlife and conservation industries. The plan has been approved by South Africa's cabinet, but it has left the citizens divided. It is out for public consultation before implementation. Even South Africa's environment minister conceded that the country's position that rhino horn had no medicinal properties and its proposal to market it for medical tourism was contradictory. Critics are branding this plan as a crude form of extractive conservation focusing on monetization and consequent exploitation of wildlife. They say it applies a farming ethic to wild animals. They also say consumptive use and game hunting risks permitting poaching to be laundered within the legal framework. Defending the plan, South Africa's president Cyril Ramaphosa said national treasures in poor rural areas were like Rembrandts lying in the attic. He added that they needed to be brought back to life and the residual capital needs to be utilized. Earlier, the government gave the public until March 22nd to respond to its plan. The deadline has now been extended to April 12th.